this is what retirement sounds like on Gulangyu. A tropical ensemble complete with a Spanish guitar, mandolin, ukulele, saxophone, and the violin. 75-year-old Li Yongping started the Lei Tuo Band with his wife several years ago. He named the group after their century-old family backyard. With a few other friends in their 60s, they perform Western folk tunes and Chinese patriotic songs. We grew up with music. Gulangyu is known for having the most pianos per capita in China. Our parents held family concerts all the time. We're not professional musicians, but we like to get together to drink tea and play instruments. Life is pretty good, and we are really happy. The island's musical rhythm is composed by a long history of trade. Xiamen was one of the first main ports in China during the Qing Dynasty, which lasted from the mid-17th century to the early 20th century. Gulangyu, just a boat ride away, served as a customs point and a home for diplomats and missionaries. With 13 consulates and hundreds of heritage buildings, the island's international legacy lives on. But one of the biggest and most extravagant sites was built by a Chinese merchant. My great-great-great-grandfather bought this land in 1917. He was determined to build a house that would outshine all the foreign buildings on the island. He spent a fortune just on the staircase. It was made of handcrafted marble imported from Italy. The railings of the balcony were made of pipes from Germany. This garden's elegant and international design essentially tells the story of an incredible journey from rags to riches. About a hundred years ago, a young Mr. Huang took a boat from Xiamen to Indonesia with just 36 silver coins in his pocket. After years of hard work from cutting hair to selling coffee and trading sugar, he came back a billionaire, going on to build many houses on this island. Today, Huang's children are turning the estate into a hotel and exhibition space. For years, Gulangyu has been a magnet for day trippers, with more than 50,000 visitors per day packing an island of less than two square kilometers. UNESCO World Heritage status has brought prestige and tourism revenues. But for some, the island's popularity has provoked a sense of nostalgia. Gulangyu has become very commercialized these days. Many natives have moved to the city. Music is getting lost. That's why we're doing lots of non-profit concerts at the ferry terminal and elsewhere in the neighborhood. We want to share our local grassroots music. In between performances, Lei, who was once a car mechanic, makes instruments from scratch as gifts. While they may be Gulangyu's oldest musicians, Lei and his bandmates are composing a rebirth of the island's heritage. Huang Fei Xie Jitian, Gulangyu in Fujian province.